me, host Supersaro. Thank you very much for tuning in. Look what I got. It's Star Wars. These are the 40th anniversary uh, Kenner vintage card back style Black Series figures. I got these both from Hasbro, so thank you very much to Hasbro for supplying these for review purposes. I really appreciate it. As you saw on my May the 4th video, when I unboxed them, uh, they were very kind enough to give me the whole first and second wave. So we have already done a bunch of reviews. So if you haven't seen them already, please go back. We do already have reviews of the Rebel Soldier from Hoth. We do also have the R2-D2 Dagobah reviewed. And from Wave 1, we've already done Luke Skywalker, Bespin, Yoda, and the 8080 driver. We won't be reviewing Princess Leia Organa, as we already have her in the collection. Um, she's She was the same one that came with the... Um, the two pack uh, for Comic Con a couple of years ago. That the figure hasn't changed, and as far as I'm aware, the face sculpt is identical. Uh, the only face sculpt that they updated in this pack, um, I believe, was Luke's. Uh, I think Hans is the same. But Luke, Luke's is new, and so is Lando. Lando is a new face sculpt. is amazing compared to the first release. So like I said guys, these are from the 40th anniversary of the Empire Strikes Back Wave. Can you believe it's been 40 years? Wow. Yeah, it doesn't feel like it's been 40 years since Empire Strikes Back. And before you know where we are, we're going to be celebrating 40 years of Return of the Jedi. It's insane. But guys, remember the motto around here? I unbox things so you don't have to. So I'm going to go ahead and open both of these awesome figures. Free them from their plastic prisons. And take a look at the awesomeness inside. So, let's start with Lando. Because I really want to get him out of there and take a look at that face sculpt. Okay. So ever since this one was announced, I literally got rid of my previous Lando more or less instantly when I knew this one was coming. Because the face sculpt on this is just so much more superior. I'm just going to remove his cape, because I believe his cape he does have a little plastic piece. Okay. So here is Lando, out of the packaging, looking really fly. Looks really nice. Look at that face sculpt, guys. How amazing is that face sculpt? Really love it. <clears throat> So, we're going to remove the cape for a second while we look at the articulation on this figure. So the head is on a ball joint, so you can make him look... Ooh, need to warm up these joints. Down and up, as well as left and right. The arms do lift up at that top hinge and do rotate. You can actually rotate them all the way around, which is pretty nice. Um, there is a single hinged elbow there as well, which is nice. It's that dodgy new swivel, like swivel elbow. I hate it. And the hand is on a ball joint there, so you can rotate that around. There is the abdomen crunch there, and there's also a bit of tilting for the swivel at the base there. There's no waist swivel though, it is just the crunch at the abdomen. His legs do lift out pretty much all the way, as well as forwards, backwards. There is a top thigh cut included in there. There is a double hinged knee here as well, which does require a bit of uh, pulling to, to activate, but there we go. He's very sturdy as well, you can hear them clicking into place, so you know that's not going to go loose anytime soon. Um, the legs on Lando are a little bit out of... There we go, a little bit out of uh, gruff there, so I've just put those back. Yeah, that's matching up now. And the feet are on the rocker and pivot, and there are little holes in the feet, should you wish to use a display base. I've never had to use a display base with any of my uh, Black Series or Marvel Legends, for that matter. I haven't been managed, I've managed to be able to, even the loosest ones, I've always managed to uh, fit on somehow. Lando does come with his blaster and a couple of accessories. We'll take a look at those at the Muppet Labs in just a few moments. I'm just going to put the cape back on there. As you can see, it's a nice blue hard plastic cape with a golden exterior. I am hoping that I can bump into some customizer one day that will be able to supply me with a nice soft goods version of that cape. Uh, blue and gold like that, because I would much prefer a soft cape, especially for fraction figure photography. This just looked plastic. So, on, on a, for, for a nice detailed like, photograph of Lando, I'm really going to want a proper cape for him. So guys, what are your thoughts on Lando? Especially that new face sculpt, it looks real nice. And the hair as well, everything about it looks pretty, it just looks like Lando now. Very happy with that. It looks like, have they, have they used the face from the disguised version? 
from Return of the Jedi. Looks very similar to that face sculpt. Because they updated the face sculpt, didn't they? For that one, if I remember rightly. But let's get Han out of the packaging as well and take a look at Han. Now, from what I understand, this is the, this is the Han that came with the... Uh, it was like a special pack and he came with like the breathalyzer thing and he came with the, like, like them bat creature things. I never know the game. Really. But I believe this has come in a pack before and this is basically a repack of that one. But I never got that one, you see, so I've never had this. And I never got the single pack for release either. So I've always been missing this, this hand solo. Hence why I'm opening I know so many people out there right now are going to be saying the same thing of, well, why didn't I just track down the single card boxes and keep these boxed? Because I don't do that. I don't have anything in boxes at all in this room. Uh, there's only like, I think I've got like two or three items that I keep boxed and that's it. Everything of mine is uh, unboxed. I've got a dodgy arm of this Han Solo and it's, I don't want to pull that too hard and break it. So I'm going to warm that up I think before I, if I can... Oh yeah. Oh yeah, I can feel that pulling. I've got a dodgy arm of this Han Solo, so please watch out if you do get uh, the Han Solo from this collection. That arm on this one, as you can see, is incredibly stiff look. Uh, it moves outwards and it moves round and rotates. It's the elbow hinge that's completely stuck and I'm pretty sure if I played around with that anymore and bent it, it's just going to break. So, I'm going to have to heat that bad boy up. But I can show you on the other arm, I think. Yeah, the other arm does does the crunch, so... So that's down the ball joint again, making him look up and down pretty far, actually, on this one. The face sculpt, this one's pretty nice as well. I've always laughed over the years at Han Solo faces, because do you know they remind me with the jacket and stuff? It always, they always The face sculpts always remind me of Ashton Kutcher from that 70s show. It always looks like Kelso, in my opinion. <laughs> but this one actually does actually look like a young Harrison Ford. It actually looks like him this time around. But you can still see that resemblance to uh, Kelso, I think, from that 70s show. <laughs> But this one actually does look like does look like Han pretty well. It's actually a very nice uh, head sculpt. I just need to get that arm sorted, otherwise it's going to be a pain. Uh, it's nice to pose though. It's a very nice figure. Like I said, his arms do lift up and do rotate at the hinge and stuff like that. Hands are, hands are on a ball joint. Uh, we've got the waist swivel there. We've got the ab crunch. Uh, legs do lift out as well as forwards, backwards. Top thigh cut there as well. Oh, very stiff. There we go. Top thigh cut. Double hinge knee there. And the feet are on at rocker and pivot. Again, very stiff feet. Ooh, very stiff articulation. Definitely going to need some warming up. So please be careful when unboxing your Han Solo. And he does have the, the usual fully working holster on his side, just like the previous releases have, with the flip down, so you can put his gun inside there. He does come with a gun, and we'll take a look at that in Muppy Labs in just a moment. Right, I'm going to go see if I can get this elbow to work. Let's go down to the Muppet Labs, take a look at the accessories, and down to the desk cams, take a look at the figures. Alright guys, we're down at Muppet Labs, so let's take a look at these new awesome accessories for these new figures. So as you can see from our Muppet Labs here, you can see the gun by Lando. This is Lando's gun, it's the blaster uh, sort of pistol. Very similar to the one that's carried around by um, most personnel in the Star Wars universe, to be fair, tends to have this kind of blaster. Pretty sure Princess Leia had this one for a while. It's got a nice black scope on top with a sing with a solid black finish all the way through, except for the silver tip, which has got a nice silver with some black lines running down it. It's very nice. I wish it was a bit more metal wash over the black. I always say that because I wish it looked more metallic. But the gun itself is very nice for the sculpt, and um, yeah, it does the job for when it's in his hand and stuff, and it looks decent. So, very nice gun, first of all, for Lando. Lando also comes with a, I think, believe this is his comms receptacle. Um, I'm not percent sure. I believe that's how he communicates, isn't it? Isn't it that little like microphone thing that he communicates with? I may be wrong, but that's what my understanding is of that item anyway. But it's something that came with Lando in his packaging, so I'm guessing it's the communicator. But I'm not 100% sure. As you can see behind, we've got the other iconic pistol of Han Solo there, so let's take a look at that one as well. Okay, so Beaker is now demonstrating Han Solo's pistol, one of the most iconic pistols in the galaxy. Everyone always recognises this straight away when they see it. It's got the brown hilt on the bottom there, so you can always recognise it by that brown little hilt. And it, it reminds me of an old sort of Luger sort of gun. It's very similar to that. Um, again, I wish they'd have put more detail into it. There's a lot of switches and nubs and things like that on this gun. 
if I can get it to focus. Um, there's a lot of like switch switches and things they could have like used for the detailing, but they haven't. It's just solid black. I wish they'd have added more silver and chrome or other other colours to it, just like in the movie. Because it's not solid black with just a brown handle. There is silver bits to it, especially on that end nozzle bit. That end nozzle bit, I believe, in the film is solid silver. So, anyway, it looks decent, though, for what it needs to be. But let, but let me know your thoughts on the guns and the accessories that came with these figures in the comments below. So, here they are, guys, out of the packaging. The two most scoundrelous smugglers in the galaxy. I don't know why I turned into the Emperor there when I said galaxy. Galaxy! <laughs> these are, like I said, these are based on the old Kenner style. You see the Kenner logo there in the background? Based on the old Kenner style card back figures that everyone grew up with in the sort of 1970s and 80s. Um, I didn't grow up with them, sadly. I didn't get Star Wars toys until I was later on in life, until the like, Phantom Menace time. Now, I had a few vintage figures, but nothing too crazy. I was more into the 6-inch line, and Star Wars back then was predominantly a 3-inch series. So, as a kid, I never really had any of the vintage ones. That's why I think I don't feel as nostalgic playing with these ones as some people are, and that's why some people are keeping them packed. So, I think that's one of the reasons why I'm, I'm easily to unbox these. Uh, but I love this figure nonetheless. This hand solo is real nice. That face sculpt is great. The hair and everything's perfectly sculpted. Even down to the holding of the gun and stuff with the finger through the actual trigger. Everything about it is just accurate. And I'm loving the holster on this one as well. The way it sort of swung down to his leg. It, just, it reminds me of like the Lone Ranger kind of, you know, cowboy gunslinger sort of thing. With that yellow stripe down the leg as well. Just adding extra detailing things to the figures. Super nice. Screen accurate. And then of course you've got Lando as well with that new awesome face sculpt. Which just looks superb. Looks just like him. Uh, again, the rest of the figure is more or less the same as the previous one. Although I have noticed a few things. The the, the, um, the actual wrists look very small in this figure due to the, the way it's been designed. But, one thing I do want to show you. They have remembered to include his little wristwatch that he has on the inside of his wrist. On his firing arm. So that's pretty cool. They remembered something like that. Something so minuscule and, and, and small as well. So that's great they remembered to do that. Like I said, this figure does look like Billy Dee Williams this time around. So they've definitely hit this one out of the park. I just wish we had a cloth cape. Because as you can see, the plastic cape's already falling off his shoulder from when I'm posing him up. So it's going to be nigh on impossible to pose properly the way I wanted to. So, cloth cape. If anyone can hook us up with one, please let us know in the comments. But otherwise, two very awesome figures for the Star Wars line. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments down below. And what do you want to see me review next? We've still got the... Um, Tie pilot, and we've still got Luke with his snow speeder outfit. So let us know who you want to see his review next. Alright, guys, let's go back to the main cam and finish off this video. So, guys, which is your favourite of the two figures? Are you a Lando fan? Are you a Han Solo fan? Let us know in the comments down below. If you enjoyed today's video, guys, then please make sure you smash that subscribe button. Subscribing really supports us, it really helps us out and helps us keep making awesome videos. Thank you very much for watching, guys, and until next time, may the force be with you. Bye!